a jumpsuit, where's the effort? I mean, you know, it's just a jumpsuit. Again, you could have got that from the high street. That's it. Today, we are doing a review of the Met Gala 2019. We are going to be looking at the fabulous, the... And then the, uh, what were they thinking? Hello my lovelies, my name is Louise and welcome to the House of Lou, your channel dedicated to luxurious dresses made for the rich and famous. Why should you listen to moi? Well, I'm a couture designer. This is one of my dresses, worth over £125,000. Wow! Let's get started. So, the fabulous. Number one, Celine Dion in Oscar de la Renta. She looks amazing. She is an absolute goddess like Aphrodite. I mean, this is so stunning. What you can see here is this dress is in two parts. So you've got the leotard at the, at the obviously the base of it, which is covered in gold mesh. This is with, um, ha this is hand embroidered by the way. It was covered with Ari and Sardorsi embroidery. So it looks like a gold mesh all over. And then attached to it, you've got the gold fringing. You've got gold micro beads individually hand sewn on those fringes. And oh my gosh, talk about the work that must have gone into it. I think 3,000 hours is how long it took. And she looks a vision. She, I mean, it just makes you smile. This dress, oh, it must have weighed a ton though, but. You can tell she's so happy in it. She feels elated. She is just regal. She's like, I'm a goddess. And she just looks, I mean, the headpiece is also fabulous as well. I threw those to you. You got the camp theme. You understood it. This is not taking yourself too seriously. This is you just being extravagant, being extra. This is what we love. Thank you, Celine Dion. And thank you, Oscar de la Renta team. And next we have Lupita Longoyo in Versace. Versace did a really good number on this. Now Versace is camp. I mean, let's just put it out there. She, I mean, she is again, a vision in this. Talk about looking like a butterfly on acid. I mean, <laughs> it is amazing. Uh, okay, let's go with the details. So I'm looking at the um, cape that she's wearing, the like butterfly cape. I think it's supported or stiffened. What, what, it's got a stiffened support foundation for sure to keep it in that shape and um looking closely at it you can see there's fringes on the um organza strips all over trying to sort of blend in the way it's all brushed it's all frayed at the edges uh, so it gives that uh flighty look oh, and i mean it's just an acid look but this is what camp is this is and it's just like, oh, talk about a trippy acid look. But she's just going all out for it. This is fantastic. I love the fight the power Afro combs as well. So she looks like she's making a political statement here as well. And she looks fantastic. She is like, look at me, I'm here. This is fantastic. Well done. Love Versace. Next, we've got Kim Kardashian West in Thierry Mugler. This dress took eight months to make and wasn't it worth it? Oh my God. Her body is camp anyway, isn't it? I mean, look at that waist and, and everything else. My gosh. The embroidery, those water droplets, they took 500 hours to do. I actually know the, the gentleman that actually made that embroidery and I couldn't speak to him for weeks, but wasn't it worth it? And she got that wet look from the Sophia Loren boy and a dolphin look. She got it down pat and she looks absolutely amazing. The hair, I mean, the sequins and the silicone, she looks ravishing, she looks fantastic. What a dream. Kim, oh, you slayed it. Trust me, you slayed it. Okay, next we've got Jordan Dunn in Zach Posen, one of my favorite designers. And I love it when technology and fashion come together because it is just a wonderful marriage. And this dress certainly is. This is a 3D printed dress on a titanium cage with 21 petals, weighing, I think more than 30 pounds this, this dress weighed, and each petal costing $3,000. So in total, if you do the maths, that's $63,000 in that dress. Oh my gosh, but oh, wow, God, totally worth it. I, what I love about this dress is you've got the tonal aspects of it, looks like some metallic 
flower and she just looks so stunning. This has just never been done before, but this is what I'm talking about, technology and fashion coming together. It's, innov it's innovative, it's, oh, it's just absolutely amazing. I love the tonal aspects of it, and um, wow, this dress would have weighed a ton, but what a statement you've made in this dress, Jordan. Well done, Zach, amazing. Next, Janelle Monet in Christian Siriano. Again, one of my favorite designers as well. This is an art piece. This is a walking piece of art. I love this. This is Picasso inspiration. You can tell this is a you know abstract piece of art. And you know th what's great about this dress is that it is actually balanced. Um, there's quite a good symmetry to this dress and I love the fact that there's a blinking eye You know that eye was actually in her bust and through her back and she's got a Switch in her pocket that actually makes the eye blink up and down and the color contrast of the colors It's it's fantastic. I absolutely love this walking piece of art. Well done This is fantastic. One of my favorite outfits of the night now, I want to do a special note to this wonderful woman, Lady Gaga, of course. I mean, she did kind of steal the show. It wasn't my favourite, but I do appreciate the fuchsia balloon coat that she actually came out with. That was quite cool, actually. I love that deep fuchsia colour. It was beautiful. And then the four changes. She was using her clothes as a prop for her performance. And that's what camp is about also. It's about performance, it's, it's theatre. So I give props to her for coming out there and you know, for 12, 15 minutes, however long she was, ma making her changes from one outfit to another and just uh, being Lady Gaga, so eccentric. Oh, this is fantastic. Well done, Lady Gaga. Well done, Brandon Maxwell. Now we've got the meh ones. I'm sorry to say this. I actually don't think this is a bad dress, but I've got Zendaya here from uh, with, with Tommy Hilfiger in this Cinderella dress. And I love the concept. I love the effort that they put into it. The team did so, so much to it. Um, I mean, let me read out what this dress consists of because this is quite a lot here. Look, it involved 20 carbon fiber rods, five battery packs that powered half a kilowatt of energy plus 40 meters worth of LED lights. Now that is a lot. That is, you know, industrial stuff in that dress. But it kind of looks very plain. It just kind of, the material just doesn't sing. It lights up great, yeah, but it could have been done better. It could have, we could have had some like fairy dust or something on it just to spruce it up a little bit. I can see that there's tonal aspects to it, but it just kind of didn't have that little zing, that hutchbar, you know? It just, it just lacked a little bit. But I mean, good effort. I mean, I love you Zendaya, honestly. And Tommy Hilfiger, you know, you guys did well, man, but it's, it was okay. It was okay, that's what I can say. Okay, next, Gemma Chan and Tom Ford. Look, this outfit is a tale of two, two outfits. This is like, okay, she's got the main outfit, which is fine. The headdress, I absolutely adore. I love it. I would wear that. That is camp. That is, you know, I'm queen of the night or queen goddess or whatever. You know, she just looks fantastic in that headpiece. But from the neck downwards, it's just, I think it's just a bit boring. I mean, it's chainmail sequin fabric and it's okay but it just looks very plain i just would have liked something to have given it a bit of zing something a bit extra to make it extra apart from the headpiece because you take the headpiece away and it's just, just a it's just chainmail dress basically in sequence and and it's okay but you know it's it's nice it's sleek it's beautiful but it's just a bit plain for me that's it sorry Next, Tiffany Haddish and Michael Kors. Now, I love her work. She's a fantastic comedian, of course. And, you know, this is, again, this is not bad. I mean, Michael Kors is camp. This is a camp outfit, but I just wish they would have gone it, gone and taken it a bit further. You know, um, there's 57,000 sequins in this. So, you know, respect to all that work that went into it. I just would have liked a bit more of a pop of color, exaggerated waist perhaps. She could have cinched it in and exaggerated the hips even more just to be really extravagant, really out there in the body proportionings. And then it would have just, that would have been something really eye-catching and, you know, it would have bring so much more life to this pimp outfit. I do respect what they've done though. She makes me laugh and, oh, 
God bless her, but yeah, it, it's okay. We could have done a bit better, but Michael Kors, love you anyway. What were they thinking? Sorry guys, designers get it wrong. I've made mis mistakes in the past, so trust me, I understand, but I have to say it, come on. Now, first one, Donatella Versace. She is camp anyway, and I just think this dress is so sad. It's just, it kind of looks like a student's piece of work. I'm, I have to say, I know that's really awful to say, and it's not, I'm not to disrespect students' work, but it, it just doesn't look refined at all. I mean, if you look at the fashion illustration, it is actually gorgeous, you know? I mean, fashion illustrations are meant to be gorgeous, but it would have just been nice for it to have manifested into real life, and that would have just been great. It, 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 she just doesn't look, there's just, it's just a bit sad looking. It just, I don't even think she looks even that happy in this dress, to be honest, but yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's not the best. Don't tell you've done better than this, but I love you. I love your work anyway, but this is not, this is not the best. Sorry. Nicki Minaj. Girl, I love you, but this Prabal Garung outfit, I'm sorry. It just looks so cheap. It just looks so cheap and so tacky. I don't know what your team were thinking. I'm sorry, this is awful. Um, and you've done camp before. You've been to award ceremonies before. I mean, look, this managed Aurora dress with all that beautiful embroidery, all those clashing colors, that would have been something, you know? Or, or all that previous red gown, you know? I, it, that would have been, oh, amazing. Look at that cape, look at that detail. Look at the embroidery on the Manishawara dress. But you come to the award show like that as camp? No, reference your old stuff, you know? And do it better. This just looks like, you know, pink gold sh bed sheets thrown together with some, harnesses on your bodice i'm sorry it just looks really bad and the shoes as well i know it's camp but hey look at least make it camp and make it better that's it really make it better next lucy boynton uh in prada i'm so sorry this is such a disappointing look i mean it looks she looks like an overgrown fairy and maybe that's the look she was going for but you know that that hair color trying to match the the fringe or the bottom half of that um, dress, it, it, it just looks like she's been washed in dirty drain water. It, 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 the muted colours are so, it just looks so dirty looking. I'm sorry, it looks really, really bad. Um, I mean, the, the midriff, I mean, eh, okay, sequins, all right, so it's fine. But it, 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 it does just nothing for the theme. It just looks like a really bad costume and this is not refined you know we can do better than this as camp we can go overboard and be a, a a sexy fairy but this is just a sad sad look i'm sorry this is a big letdown sorry here we go aquafina in joseph altazura i'm sorry oh god I don't know how tall she is, but she just looks really, this dress really makes her look like a stump. You know, the proportioning is awful. I mean, those big shoulders, it's just too big. It's like bigger than her head. And you know, if you're going to exaggerate it, at least do it to her proportion so that it just looks right. It just makes her look so short and stumpy. And it just does nothing for her. It really is not good for her figure at all. Um, you know, she should, if she's going to wear a dress like this, she should be in high heels as well. Um, the, the, the waist just, it, it just, it's just bad. The gold lame, I just, so bloody cheap looking. Um, you know, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with using gold lame fabric, but you, you need to refine this dress because it just, she looks like a sweet wrapper and it's not a good one. And I have to say the same thing about Mindy Carling in Moschino. I mean... This dress does nothing for her. The only thing I'm focusing on is her beautiful blonde hair that she recently dyed. But I mean, it's the dress is just it's just wrong. It's all wrong. It's it's so cheap looking. It's like oh, something you get from the high street that's on sale. It, it's just awful. I'm sorry. It does nothing for you at all. It's too cheap looking. If you're going to do this, do this properly. Sorry, it's not it's not good. Emma Stone for. Uh, Louis Vuitton, oh my gosh, this Louis Vuitton look. I'm I'm really surprised. I'm sorry. A jumpsuit, where's the effort? I mean, you know, it's just a jumpsuit. Again, you could have got that from the high street. That, this isn't really camp. You put some effort into it, you know? It's, this is, 
this is okay, but you've been given an opportunity to exaggerate, to do something so wild, to do whatever you want, and you come in a silver jumpsuit. It's it's really, really disappointing. I mean, it, yeah, there's nothing really much to say about this, but it's just, no, we wanted more. This We just wanted something better, sorry. So I need to give a special mention to the men who really showed what camp is really about. First up, Hamish Bowles, I love you. Oh my gosh. John Galliano, you did a fantastic job in this. Bold, brash, in your face. Look at the effort. Look at that. It's amazing. Thank you so much for bringing that life and vibrancy to the Met Gala. Ryan Murphy in Christian, in Christian Siriano. <sighs> Liberace, enough said. <sighs> Billy Porter, the blonde. Oh my gosh. I love his entrance as well. Oh, the embroidery. He's here. Look at me. I'm showing you what camp is about. Oh, I love it. Michael Yuri again in Christian Siriano. He had a fantastic night. I want to be a girl. I want to be a guy. Oh, okay. Let's bring it all both in one outfit. Fantastic. Jared Leto in Gucci. Just, oh, I want to show you with my head. Here's my head. Oh my gosh. Absolutely amazing. Drama. Drama. Theatre drama. That's what you want. And then James Robb. Oh my God, Iris Van Herpen, so amazing. I love your innovation. I'm gonna show you what I'm about in my outfit. I am theatre. I am theatre personified. Here I am with my winged theatre cape. Oh, amazing. Guys, thank you so much. You really bought it. And it was a joy to see this lovely innovation, this amazement, this theatre. The camp was personified. Well done. Thank you. So guys, let me know what you think. So guys, hit the like and subscribe button. Give us your feedback, your comments. It would really help with our YouTube algorithms. And I'll see you again. Thank you so much.